Hello, hockey fans, and welcome to the semifinals of the virtual MHL Championship Tournament. Valley and Yarmouth colliding here in tonight's semifinal matchup. One spot in the championship final remains. It's the 6-0 Mariners versus the 3-3 Wildcats coming into this one. The Mariners have been cruising. They finished atop their group in the round robin, a perfect 5-0, and then went into the playoffs and threw up a shutout over the Edmonston Blizzard. Valley finished 2-3 in the round robin. They went in against Truro in the quarterfinals, upset the Bearcats 6-3 for the Wildcats to move on here. And this, of course, is a rematch from earlier in this tournament, a game that the Mariners won in overtime. So anything can happen here. Wilson moves the puck ahead to Deacon along the wing for Valley. Blake Deacon takes it behind the net, sends it around the boards, back to the point, but Gillis picked it off for the Mariners, gets it to Semple in the middle. Semple bothered, but gets into the attacking zone. Semple, first shot of the game, Brun out high on top of that crease to challenge, and he knocked it down. Turned over again in the neutral zone. Gillis brings it in this time for the Mariners. Trying to put it across to the other side, and Valley picked it off. Wilson up ahead for Deacon. A little daylight. Deacon in on goal. Shot saved by Samara. And Hill will hold on, and we'll get a faceoff. Samara and Kelly, both goaltenders for the Mariners, have been outstanding in this tournament. In fact, it was Griffin Kelly that played the quarterfinal game and got the shutout over Edmonston. Yarmouth going back to their number one, Justin Samara here. They've got confidence in both guys. Carney picking off the puck but losing it again as McDonald puts him into the wall. Vaysberg through the middle, takes a bump, through the puck up the ice, nobody home, and that'll go down and icing will be called against the Mariners. Two minutes, 40 seconds gone in the opening period, scoreless between the two teams as the puck comes all the way back down into the Yarmouth zone. Face off to the left side of Samara. Goes into the corner, dug out by the Wildcats. They get it to Falk. He'll send it back to the line for Beatty. Beatty back to Falk along the boards. Zach Falk playing it down low for Kearney. Back to Falk. Into the middle for Matthews. Delayed penalty coming up to the Mariners. And as Samara gathers up that one, it'll be called. It's going to be McDonald that goes to the box for Yarmouth. And Valley will get the game's first power play. Three minutes and 19 seconds gone in period one. Ian McDonald for interference, causing some problems in front of the net. A little bit too much, says the referee. Mariners win the faceoff, and Jurgenite is going to be able to clear this one all the way down the ice. Take some time out of the Wildcat power play. Race down the ice. Barron got there for Yarmouth around the boards. Jurgenite back there at the blue line. Mariners will try to pass it around and kill time, but Kirkup got it for Valley. Matthews now ahead for Wilson. Luke Wilson all the way down for the Wildcats, all the way behind the net. Wilson will send it up the boards, kept in. Kirk up, back to Wilson, turns and fires. Knocked down, and the Mariners clear just outside the line. And right back in, Valley could not keep that one in at the blue line, and we get an offside against the Wildcats. Teams will change up their special teams units. Gillis into the faceoff circle for the Mariners. 35 seconds left in the Valley power play. Face off one, and Kearney will bring it in for Valley. Other side for Falk. Falk shot blocked by Richardson. Major midget Wildcats as that puck is sent all the way down the ice. Valley's got to go back to get it in their own zone as we come back to five-on-five five play. Mariner knocked down in the Valley end as the Wildcats come away with it. Blake Deacon bringing it in into the middle for Falk. Tried to dish off. Richardson was there once again. Rees and Lang trying to move forward. Lang will come in with it for Yarmouth. Snap a shot. Brun makes a save there. Gives it to Casey, across for Tamachek. Sutan Tamachek up ahead for Deacon. Deacon brings it in over the line. Deacon to the outside of the faceoff circle and now all the way down low behind the net. Teammates are defense changing while the puck's in deep. Mariners around the boards. Valley a hustle to it. Beattie kept it in. Got it back to Deacon. Deacon looking for an outlet pass in front, but the puck came loose. They'll battle after it. Both guys go down in the fracas. And the Mariners back to the line, once again held in by the Wildcats. Beattie's got it. He'll try from range. And that's knocked down by the Mariners. And Vaysberg will finally skate this one out. Some good hard pressure from Valley as they win the puck back along the wall in the neutral zone. Right back to Blake Deacon, and he's on the attack again. Deacon liking to work down low and behind the net. He'll move it to Wilson. Wilson all the way back to the blue line for Valley. Another big collision. But King hustles in to keep that puck alive for the Wildcats. Over to Casey. Deacon. Along the wall on the other side this time. Back to the blue line for Casey. 
Keegan Casey looks for a way through. He'll give it to King. King to Deacon. He'll try from distance. Through a big crowd in front, but Samara sees it and moves it quickly. The Mariners will try to counterattack. Vaysberg cut off, so he elects to just dump the puck into the corner. Back out in front for Vaysberg, and Brunn had to come up with a first uh, good save of the game for him. Vaysberg will bring it right back for the Mariners as they look to apply some pressure. Shot into the middle, blocked by Casey this time, and Valley will come back with it. Wilson in over the line, gave it to Kirkup, out wide for Deacon. Deacon turns up, fires Kirkup on the rebound. He scores, and the Wildcats take the lead. 1-0. Blake Deacon ripped it from up high in the zone. Samara made the save, but Kirkup right there in front of the net to put home that rebound. The longer this tournament is gone, the better Cole Kirkup has played. He was slow to get points early on in the tournament. He's been better and better as we've gone, and he's got the first one here tonight. Wildcats draw first blood. 9.24 remaining in the first period as we get back underway. Goal scored by McDonald for the Mariners. Gives it to Rees. Rees trying to dump it in. Didn't get much on it. Puck came back to him and fired it in on Brun, who made a save off the blocker. Levy in the corner. Penalty coming up to the Mariners as that arm got wrapped around Brent Levy. That's going to be a penalty. Valley will go to the power play for the second time here in this first period. Nathan McMillan going to the penalty box. So Valley back to the man advantage with 8.37 to go in period one. Valley wins the faceoff in the offensive zone. We'll try to set back up here in the power play. King will try a big one. Looked like that went off his teammate wide of the net. And the Mariners will clear. Brun comes out to grab it this time. He'll give it to King. King will send it up ice. Kirkup, the goal scorer, was waiting. Kirkup going straight at the net. Kirkup shot, put it wide. Tried to get the goaltender to move one way and shoot it the other. He did, but slightly off target. King moving it in. Kirkup again. Denied by Samara, but Wilson picked it up. Went behind the net. Matthews back to the line. Olsen across to King. Olsen, King. Back into the middle, Barron picked it off this time, and he and Semple will come away. Chance for a two-on-one. Barron's going to go off on a change, and a nice challenge by Brant King as he stopped that one. Valley puts it back into offensive ice. We go back to five-on-five -five play. So Valley 0 for 2 with the man advantage as Barron gets away. But the Wildcats have men back. Barron still gets a shot on. Big rebound, but Levy was in perfect position to deal with it. Blake Deacon coming out of his own end for Valley. Plays it in the middle. Kirkup has to go backwards to Levy. They'll try again. Valley dumps it in, but they cannot beat that one out. It's going to be an icing call against the Wildcats with 526 remaining in this first period. Face off back in the Wildcats zone, and the Mariners win the draw. Lance Aleve tried to put a shot on from the wall. Wilson blocked that one. Tamachek, Kirkup, and ahead to Deacon. Always leading the play. Blake Deacon. Puts a shot on goal. Samara catches that one, and he'll drop it to the D. Around the back wall, they find Hillier. Now across the other side, Lance Aleve. A little bit of daylight. Lance Aleve, forced out wide into the corner. Tries to put it in front. It was blocked by a Wildcat. Lang able to get it off a leg again. Wood keeps it in this time at the line. Hillier, he'll let a shot go. Brun gets the arm up on that one. And now Kirkup will bring it back out of the Wildcat end. Levy, back at his own blue line for Valley. Long up ahead for Deacon. Deacon, all the way to the corner, stops before he goes behind the net. Another penalty coming up to Yarmouth as Kirkup let a good shot go from the slot. Goaltender kicked it away, and as the defense gathered it up, that's the third penalty of this first period against the Mariners. Looks like it was Wood this time who's going to get called. And it is Nash Wood for interference. 3.12 to go in the first period as the puck is dropped and won by Valley. Temachek across to Casey, back at the blue line here. He'll move it into Carney. Carney in the corner, starts to move in, give it to Deacon, he'll go back to the line for Casey. Back to Carney at the line, but just outside, that's an offside call against the Wildcats. And we'll do it again, Gillis against Deacon in the faceoff circle. Still 122 to go in the Valley power play. Yarmouth wins the draw this time, a scramble for it. Valley will come up with it, make sure they've got everybody on side this time around. Temachek forward for Falk. The Winnipeg native along the boards, all the way behind the net. Nope, fakes it, plays it back to the line. Tamachek with a big shot. Does not get through. And Yarmouth able to find that puck and clear it out down the ice. Just 20 seconds remaining in the Valley power play. As Ethan Carney picks it up in his own end of the rink. Lang takes it away. Gillis dropping it back for Boudreaux. Back to Lang along the wall. Took a hit and the puck came loose. 
We're five on five again. Valley 0 for three with the man advantage. This is played in the middle. Deacon scores! Well, they don't connect on the power play, but they do shortly afterwards. Blake Deacon finds the back of the net, and the Wildcats lead it 2 0 here in this first period. That's probably one Samara is going to want back. Boudreau was off to the side. He had a clean look at it. Deacon's quick release just beat him. Thought there might have been a screen, but Deacon was around Boudreau. The goaltender could see it coming, but sometimes a good quick release doesn't matter if you can see it. You don't have time to react. 2 0 Wildcats as Beattie turns it over along the wall to Semple. Semple to Matt Barron. Barron in the middle for Gillis. Shot is blocked. Gallant picks it up for Valley. He'll move it to Olsen. And period will expire. So the Wildcats score in the middle and then again late in period number one. And they have a 2 0 lead on the Mariners after the opening 20 minutes. Still lots of time to go in this one. And of course, the Mariners were 3 0 victors over the Blizzard in the quarterfinal. The Valley scored six against Toro. The Wildcats are able to score. And off on the right foot here. Shots 10-5 in favor of Valley in that period. Helped out as the Pembley minutes are 6-0 with the Mariners in front there. Yarmouth needs to stay out of the penalty box, moving forward in the hockey game. Use their speed, try to get the Wildcats to take a penalty and use the skills they've got. They're not 6-0 for no reason. Matt Barron lost the puck along the wall. Valley back to King, able to absorb a hit and still move the puck forward. Deacon moving in on goal, shot blocked in front by Burke. And there is a delayed penalty coming up to the Wildcats, their first of the game, and it'll be called. The stick went into the skates, the Mariner went down, and it's going to be Luke Wilson that goes to the penalty box for Valley. Wilson does not take a whole lot of penalties, but he gets one for tripping here, just 50 seconds into the period. Wilson reaching after that puck and just takes out the legs. And Yarmouth will get their first power play of the hockey game. Valley wins the faceoff at their own end. They'll send it around the boards, but McDonald's there to keep it in for the Mariners. Wood and McDonald, a give and go back at the blue line. Now in deep for Hillier. Thomas Hillier into the corner for Jonathan Rees. He'll move it to McMillan, back to Rees, back to McMillan again, top of the circle. To Rees at the bottom of the circle, now McMillan on the outside. Mariners working the cycle really well here, but no shots. Starting to make me dizzy. McMillan back on the outside. Rees at the side of the net. He takes a bump there from Olsen, and the puck will be gathered up by Brunn, and he will hold on to that one. The Mariners again working that cycle down in the corner, but just not finding space in front of the net to get a uh, pass out there, and used up a lot of time on this power play. Still 30 seconds to go as we get back underway. The Mariners get it in the corner, out to Semple in tight, and they score on the rebound. Brunn was able to stop Semple the first time, but not the second. And Ryan Semple gets the first of the game on the power play for Yarmouth. They're right back in this thing. Valley's still with the lead, but Yarmouth's on the board. 2-1 game. Ryan Semple has been a real surprise for the Mariners throughout this tournament. Of course, when you're playing on the same line with Matt Barron and Sam Gillis, that's going to help things. But good work by Semple there. Finds his own rebound, gets it past the keeper. And the Mariners are right back in the hockey game. Valley will look to reestablish that two-goal lead. Here's Wilson. All the way into the corner, looking to go behind the net. He's cut off. Deacon, he'll move it to Kirkup. Assisted by. Loose in the corner, Kirk up. Now back to the line for King. Back to Kirk up along the boards. Back to King. Just kept it on side. This one came out as he sent it across to Casey. Gillis for the Mariners. Pass into the middle. Goes back to Boudreau. Boudreau under pressure, but retreats. Back to Barron, and then Boudreau again. Over to Burke. Burke through the middle. They find Gillis, and Gillis is in over the blue line. No further than Brant King, however. Now turned over in front of the net. They score! Blake Deacon had the puck in front of his own net and he just could not handle it the way he wanted it to. Barron strips him and buries it. His 11th point of the tournament. 
sixth goal, I believe. And we got a tie game 2-2. Barron just able to take that puck away from Deacon and he roofs it into the top corner. 15.41 to go in the second period, 2-2 here in this semifinal. Zach Falk moves in for Valley, moves it out to Kearney. Kearney will tee it up, but Boudreaux blocked it. It's a big body to try to get shots through. Gillis brings it down the ice now for Yarmouth. Gillis across the other side, they score! And just like that, the Mariners are on top. Ryan Semple has his second of the period, and Yarmouth leads it 3-2. The floodgates open three goals in 5:09 of the second period. Just a great setup that time around. Nothing much he could do. Gillis, once he was able to get that pass through the defense and across to the other side, the immediate release by Semple. Tap that one into the goal, and there's no way for the goaltender to get across and get set fast enough. Five minutes, nine seconds, and the Mariners have gone from 2-0 down to 3-2 on top. Number and here is Semple, already on two goals of the night, ahead for Gillis, up to Barron. He's got the other one. Barron tries to take a shot. First one went off the D, and Barron followed that puck, came right back to him. This time, Brunn able to close things up in front of that net. Number 44. That's the sort of thing the Wildcats need right now. Settle this game down and slow down the pace. The Mariners got themselves into penalty trouble in the first period. The Wildcats were really able to take the speed out of them. But if Yarmouth can skate full force, they're hard to contain. McInnes into the middle for Gallant. Shot blocked by Jurgenheit. Nice setup by the Wildcats, but the veteran defender in the right place. McMillan comes in, takes a bump immediately, and now Casey quickly moves it up ice for Waterman. Aaron Waterman into the middle, Gallant again, and once again off a Mariner, this time was the leg of Jonathan Rees. McDonald for the Mariners, turned over to Gallant. Gallant moves toward goal, lets it go himself. Samara made the save, gave it to Jurgenite. Jurgenite avoids a hit as he comes out, gives it to Rees. Rees will carry in over the blue line. Rees dropping it back for Vaysberg. Vaysberg's shot, save made by the keeper. And McInnes quickly jumping on it, going back down the ice up ahead for Waterman on the wing. Waterman pushed off the puck. And now Richardson will play it backwards for Wood. Wood under pressure, but he got rid of it up to Vaysberg in the middle. Now McMillan into the attacking zone. McMillan along the wall to Vaysberg. High slot, moves it into Rees. Along the boards, back into the middle. McMillan doesn't have a lane. And Valley took away the pass. Olsen moving it ahead for Gallant. He's had a couple good looks on this shift. Gallant looking for a pass this time around as he carries all the way behind the net. Stripped of the puck by Wood before he could do anything with it, and the Mariners come out. Now Rees for Yarmouth, right through the middle. Drops it back for Vaysberg. Some red shirts in front of him. He got the pass through them, but into the glove of Aaron Brunn, and the goaltender will keep that one. 9.48 to go in period two. A three-goal outburst by the Mariners in the early part of this period, and they lead the game 3-2 over Valley. A spot in the championship final on the line. Face-off controlled by Valley in their own end. Temacek throwing it up the ice, but everybody missed it. And it'll be an icing call against the Wildcats, and the face-off will come all the way back to their zone. Face off one by Valley in their own end of the rink. Kirkup quickly ahead for Deacon. Deacon plays it into the middle for Kirkup. This time he's going to flip it into the corner. Deacon will give chase and wins it there. Moves in the middle for Wilson. Shot just wide and gathered up and given to Samara so he can cover that one up for Yarmouth. Justin Samara has not been all that busy here in this second period. He had to work for it in the first. Face off one by Matthews and a penalty coming up to the Mariners. Finally get the goalie out for the extra attacker here. The puck is touched up by Yarmouth and that penalty will be called. Going to the penalty box is going to be Kieran Burke as Valley will work their fourth power play of the evening. Yarmouth one for one with the man advantage. Valley is 0 for 3. Wilson nearly lost it, kept it in. Right in front of the net for Kirkup. He cannot bury it. 
two minutes for interference. Well, he works the outside. King, Kirk up. He'll try to throw it in. Samara's got that one. And he will keep it, but frozen. And we'll do the face-off again. Eight minutes to play. You're in the second period. 3-2 Yarmouth. Valley still with 120 to go on this power play. Matthews prevents the puck from being shot out of the zone. Back to Olsen. He'll tee one up. And caught and kept on to by Samara. Jack Olsen can really drive it from back there at the blue line. And nobody able to get a tip on that as it finds the goaltender. Face off once again inside the Armith zone. One minute gone, one minute remaining in the Valley power play. King, Wilson, shot, save made by Samara. Yarmouth will find the, uh, Yarmouth will find that rebound and play it out. Try to go down the ice. They shot it directly into the Valley bench. That is not a delay of game penalty. Uh, not with this rule set. 45 seconds to go in the power play. Yarmouth wins it. And Jurgenite can't clear the zone. Carney took it away from him. Carney back to the line. Casey, Tamachek, shot blocked by Boudreaux. And he will fire at the length of the ice. He said no time getting rid of that one. Deacon Casey back in his own end, up ahead for Falk. Falk gives it to Deacon as we're going back to five on five play. Out wide for Carney. Carney sends it toward the net, knocked down at the side, and Samara will cover it up again. Get special team units off the ice, regular lines out. Valley now 0 for 4 with the man advantage in the hockey game. They trail by one. It's 3 2 Yarmouth with 6 10 to go in the second period. Valley the better team in the first period. Mariners the better team here in the second. Although the full script of the second period yet to be written as Lancelieve drives the net, eventually blocked by Olsen. He did not get the shot all the way in. Beatty around the boards in his own end. Mariners can't keep it in. And Valley will look to counterattack. Wilson avoids one man, plays it in the middle. Kirk up, lets it go wide of the net. Found by the Wildcats again. Kirk up, shot blocked again. As the Yarmouth D in the right place. Now two on one shaping up for Yarmouth. Or rather a one on one. Take the shot. Brun made the save and the defense in the right position to get rid of the puck. Up ahead, Kirk up. Richardson on him immediately. And that puck will go back out. Hillier bumped off the puck in the neutral zone. Valley at their own blue line. Ols er, Beattie moving forward up to Kirk up. Kirk up into the attacking end, shot right into the shin pads. Rebound came back to him, though. Samara made the save. Back in the middle again. Deacon with another good try. And now Hillier will try to get on the breakaway, but Valley's got a man back. Great hustle by the captain, Beatty. And right up to Wilson as Valley gets on the attack. Wilson with daylight. And the goaltender came way out to challenge Luke Wilson. Knocked it down, and he's lucky that Wilson could not find a rebound as that net was wide open. Big scramble for it. Valley will come away from their own end. Wilson to Kirk up on the outside. Inside two minutes to go in the period. Kirk up skates toward the middle. Let's a shot go on the rebound. Can't make it work either. As Samara's got it down low and he'll hold on. Some great chances for the Wildcats on that exchange. And they cannot beat Justin Samara who's holding serve. Mariners continue to lead it 3-2 late in the second. Valley won the draw. King lets it go from the blue line. That's knocked down. Behind the net, Matthews will dig it out for Valley. Send it around the boards. Back to King. King over to Casey. Kept it in. He'll try the big shot from the point again. And looking for a tip on the way through. Instead, it is Samara. And he will hold on for Yarmouth with just 104 remaining in this middle frame. And I mentioned off the top of the broadcast, Justin Samara and Griffin Kelly, both goaltenders for the Mariners, come into this game with sparkling numbers. They are hard to beat. Dumped in by Yarmouth with 30 seconds to go here in the second period. In the corner, Casey trying to trap it against the wall, and he does. Referee blows it down. We're going to get a face-off in the Valley Zone with just 22 seconds remaining in the second period. Mariners with a... They'll have a quick chance here if they can win the faceoff clean to try to add to this 3-2 lead. They do win it. Jurgenite back at the line, 10 seconds. Moves it to Rees, lets it go into the Valley shin pads, and that's going to do it for period two. 
So Valley came into the period with a 2-0 lead. They end the period trailing by one. Semple, Barron, and Semple again for the Mariners have given them the lead 3-2 through 40 minutes. It's all to play for in the third. Shots were 11-8 Valley in that second period. Two period total, 21-13 in favor of the Wildcats, but they trail by one. And right now that power play number is looming. 0 for 4 for the Wildcats, 1 for 1 for Yarmouth. Mariners trying to go 7-0 and, oh and book themselves a spot in the final. These two teams were in both in Group A in the round robin. And the game they played there, Yarmouth won at 7-6 in overtime. We could be in for another barn burner. They've had more than a few in this tournament as we get underway. Barron dumping the puck in for the Mariners. Valley go back to get it in their own end. Casey. Casey sends it around the wall in his own end. Kirk up, up ahead to Wilson. And now Deacon. Expect this line to be on the ice a lot. Deacon trying to move that puck into the middle. Wilson gets knocked down in front. A call this time around. As Gillis comes away, there's a call as Gillis gets hooked. And it, that was a pretty serious hook. You couldn't, can't let that one go. Yarmouth's going to go back to the power play. And two penalties against the Wildcats in the game, both of them against Luke Wilson. I don't think that happened all year long. So the Mariners get their second power play of the evening. Trying to build on the one goal advantage. Hillier from the corner, back to the line, and now Hillier on the outside again. Hillier will skate into the corner one more time. Cycle along the wall, back to the line. Wood missed it, though, and it goes all the way out and down the ice. Good break for Valley. Yarmouth will hustle back into their own end to pick it up, and Hillier will start coming up ice again. Cross ice to Rees. Rees plays it in the middle. McMillan shot went off a defender, and on the rebound from the other side, Brun reads that one, sees it coming. He'll glove it down and cover it up for the Wildcats. 17-22 remaining in the third period, 3-2 Yarmouth. As Carney and Barron contest the draw. Aaron waved out of the face-off circle here, just gets a warning. He'll do it again. And this time Barron's going to be kicked out. It'll be Gillis instead. And he won that draw. Back to Boudreaux and Burke. Burke will tee one up from distance. That went off something in front. There were plenty of bodies there. And Carney finds it, sends it all the way down the ice, and that'll do it for the Armouth power play. Burke takes it in his own end as we're back to five on five play. Luth Wilson right back in it. Barron skated past him as he brings it into the attacking zone. And that's another penalty coming up on Luke Wilson as he bumped into Matt Barron after he got rid of the puck. And it'll be called as Valley touches up. And Wilson out of the box. Seconds later collides with Matt Barron and he's taking a seat one more time. Luke Wilson fired up today, but he's got to keep his head for the Wildcats. Valley wins this draw. Kirkup wastes no time pounding it all the way down the ice. Yarmouth out of their own end. They'll try and set up. Ahead for Hillier. He'll gain the blue line. Hillier, McMillan. McMillan shot, knocked down by Brun, and he'll keep that one. 15-16 remaining in the third period. Yarmouth working the power play, their third of the game. They are one for two thus far. And they lead it three to two. Off the faceoff, Yarmouth will get it back to the line, but it came out. Defense not able to keep it in in time. So the faceoff will have to be done outside the blue line after the offside call. Halfway through the Yarmouth power play as they try it again. Gillis. Gets it over the line, but immediately taken away by Valley. Matthews going to skate with it for a bit, then backwards to Levy. And Levy will pound it down the ice as Valley kills as much time as they can. Yarmouth will bring it back up ice. They've only got 10 seconds left in the power play as Gillis dumps it into the corner. Levy gets there first, and Levy will flip it out as Wilson jumps back onto the ice. 
Don't hook anybody, Luke. And here comes Semple for Yarmouth. Gets it to Barron through the middle. Barron will skate out wide. Barron into the corner. He's hit there. Plays the puck in front. But that pass is picked off by the goaltender. And Bruns can keep that one. 13-19. We're back to five on five play. Yarmouth still in front. Three to two. Valley two goals in the first period. Yarmouth three goals in the second. So Valley won one period. Yarmouth won a period. How's the third period going to shape up? And will we need more than three periods? Last game of the quarterfinals went all the way to the shootout. Campbell the Tigers upsetting the Yarmouth Mariners in that quarterfinal. Campbell and Tigers upsetting the Amherst Ramblers in that quarterfinal. It's 13 minutes to go in this one as Yarmouth wins the draw. Fires it right on to goal off the chest of Brunn. And Kirkup will bring it out and down the ice. Up ahead for Deacon. Deacon trying to shake off a hit, but he's one on three there, and the Mariners take it back away. Hit along the wall. Valley wins it back. They'll get it to Wilson, and he'll bring it in. Wilson puts it on goal. Samara gloved it down, moved it quickly. And the Mariners right back on it. Here's Vaysburg into the attacking end. Into the middle for McMillan. His shot takes a deflection. Valley will come away with it. Wilson bringing it back down the ice. Plays it back for Deacon. Deacon bumped a little bit, but skates into the attacking zone. Deacon shakes off his charge. Plays it backwards to the line for Casey. Moved it to Kirkup. King. King will tee one up. Looking for a rebound at the side of the net. And Samara with a big flop onto that puck after he knocked it down. He's going to make sure that was under the equipment. Freeze it. And we'll do another face-off in the Yarmouth zone. 10.46 remaining in regulation time. A one-goal game with Yarmouth in front, 3-2. Valley wins the draw to Beattie. And Beattie's shot goes off the stick of the defender. Up and out of play. And we'll do the face-off again inside the Yarmouth zone. Face off to the left of Samara, won by the Wildcats. Lang able to block an attempt. He and Hillier on the rush here. Lang coming down the right wing. Lang into the middle for Hillier, but caught up by the Valley defense. They block the shot, and then Brunn will move to Beatty ahead to Waterman, now Gallant. Carson Gallant skates in for Valley. Gallant plays it into the middle. Wood was able to grab that one for Yarmouth. And a penalty coming up to the Wildcats as Wood got hooked. Valley will touch up before Yarmouth can get the extra attacker on, but the Mariners go back to the power play with only 9.19 remaining. Riley McInnes soft for the hook this time around. Valley needs to stay out of this penalty box in this third period. They want to give themselves a chance. They win the draw here. And after a couple of attempts, Matthews will fire it all the way down the ice. Boudreaux back to pick it up in his own end for Yarmouth. Up to Gillis. Gillis carries in for Yarmouth. Into the middle, Matt Barron. Shot up high. Brun got a piece of it with the glove anyway and then covers it up. Grant moving into the breakaway. Grant is denied as Samara sprawls across. Big chance for Sam Grant and a huge save by Justin Samara. That may be enough to get the Mariners into the final. We're five on five again. The penalty against Valley is over as Barron comes into the attacking zone for Yarmouth. Back to Gillis, kept it in at the line. Gillis will move forward, puts it on net. Brunn able to grab that one, and he will hold on. 6.23, still on the clock in the third period. A one goal game with the Mariners in front. Three to two. All the Valley goals in the first, all the Mariner goals in the second. And one great save by Samara here in the third period, denying Sam Grant. Wilson, cross ice pass to Kirkup, back to Wilson again, they're on side. Wilson out wide for Deacon. Deacon into the middle looking for Wilson, but it went off the skate of the Armouth defender, and Samara able to grab it. 5.51 now remaining in the third period. Deacon and Kirkup down those wings, trying to get the puck to Luke Wilson in front of the net. It's worked well for the Wildcats in this tournament, and they get another hooking penalty. This time it's Kirkup who got the stick in there under the arm. And the arm goes up on the referee right away. 
Just a little bit too aggressive here by the Wildcats. And they're trailing. They need to make something happen. But they can't do it that way. Penalty on. Valley clearing the puck out down the ice, taking some time out of the Armouth power play, but taking time out of the Armouth power play is taking time out of this third period. It's only five minutes to go. Valley steals the puck in the neutral zone. Matthews will bring it in. Out wide for Kearney. Short-handed here as Kearney goes behind the net. Bumped, but stays with the puck. Out to Matthews. Good shot. Kearney, rebound. And Samara got across to that one. Kearney was not able to get rid of it right away. Ian Matthews doing amazing here on the penalty kill. Kearney shakes off a hit once, twice, but not the third. The Mariners are able to get it back. And Kearney almost wins it back, but the Mariners do keep it. Valley did kill off the entire power play. We're back to five on five, and here's Kirkup out of the box. 3.15 to go in the third period as Kirkup dumps it in. Matthews taken into the boards hard by McDonald. Matthews will go back after the puck and wins it for Valley. Gave it to Wilson, sending it backwards. Keegan Casey, and a penalty coming up as Casey was knocked down. Brun will go off for the extra attacker as Kirkup brings it in for Valley. Kirkup playing it back to King, into the middle for Deacon. Deacon shot just wide, and the penalty will be called as the Mariners touch it. 1.59 to go in regulation time. Valley will go back to the power play. And they will finish the game on the power play if they can't score. So five on four. Valley needs one to send the game to extra time. And they win the faceoff. Falk with a chance, a second. And denied both times by Samara as the puck is played out. Jurgenite was all over Falk. In the neutral zone, Valley lost the puck against Semple. He'll give it to Barron. Backwards for Burke as the Mariners look to just kill clock and play keep away. Up to Semple. He'll skate in. Over to Barron along the wall. Barron knocked down hard as he tried to go behind the net. Only 40 seconds remaining here in the third period. Now down to 30 seconds. Wildcats still behind their net. Now they'll start out. Falk, he's got 20 seconds as he comes in. Gave it to Kearney just onside. Over to Falk. Falk shot and the goaltender's got it and holds on with 8.7 seconds remaining. Valley will have one more chance. I say you pull the goaltender here, and they have. Valley does win the draw. Gallant with a shot kicked aside by Samara, and the Mariners are into the final. A three-goal outburst at the start of the second period, and it's enough to get them through. The Mariners survive a real scare. The fact that Valley was able to get themselves to the final four to win a playoff game and get themselves here again. They've shown themselves so well in this tournament. But the Mariners do what they need to do. They are now 7-0, and and an eighth will give them the championship. Justin Samara was outstanding. Brun was very good for the Wildcats as well. And ultimately, the Mariners find a way to win. Let's have a look at the three stars of today's hockey game. Blake Deacon, star number three for the Valley Wildcats. He had Valley's second goal. Matt Barron, a goal and two assists. He was in on everything for the Mariners. Is star number two. And Ryan Semple is going to be star number one. Two goals, including the winner. As the Mariners advance to the championship game of the virtual MHL championship.